Hello again. Welcome to another episode of Perspectives with Laurentia. This morning, I want to talk about legacy. I'll try to make this as quick as possible. I want to talk about legacy. I was born to a mother who never had a formal education, but she was, and she still is very brilliant. My mother um, never stepped foot in a, in a classroom before, but she taught me to read the Bible. She taught me about Christ. She taught me everything I know about the, our Lord and Master Jesus Christ. How did she do it, you may ask. So um, growing up, I would see my mother go for Mbeko. I was born into the Assemblies of God Church. She would go for Mbeko, and whenever she's going, she'll go with me. Whenever they are going for camp meetings, she'll go with me. Whenever there's any event in church, she'll go with me. I experienced firsthand Holy Spirit baptism. I think at about six years, we had gone for this convention at Chapel Hill. And there was, there was, there was, um, what was it? It was a program. It was a revival. Those were the days of Reinhard Bonnke, uh, Brother I dance and all that. I'm sure by now you've guessed my age. So those were the days. So my mother would go with, uh, with me to all of these programs. And as she was doing that, she was building up my faith and stirring me up. Now, back to, back, back to the earlier question. How did my mother teach me to read my Bible? She would pick her Bible. To die, I didn't bring it. She would pick a Bible, open a page, and give it to me and ask me to read. She would tell me that I took you to school for a reason. I can't read, but you can. So open it, and then let's discuss it. So I'll open it, I'll read it, and then she will explain to me. As the spirits lead her. Do, do you see the scenario? She never stepped foot in a classroom. But I'll read it and then I will explain to her. That this is what. Okay so the Bible says. Um, um, he wish God wishes above all things. That we prosper and be in good health. Even as our, our soul prospers. I, I, I explained to her. Then she would tell me. The essence of the word I have read. She would later buy. Um. Uh, what's it called? A Fante Bible. And that's how come I could I could read Fante Bible. I was one of the best Fante students in class, but I'm not a Fante. Why am I sharing this? As mothers, we sometimes, we don't give ourselves enough credit. We don't give ourselves enough credit. But I'm telling you that every time you are spending with your children is ministry. Every time you are teaching them values, um, how to do the right things. That is ministry. That is a legacy you are building. So don't, don't, don't look at the fact that you are not working, you are home and taking care of children. Don't see it as just taking care of children. It is a full-time ministry, sis. See, if about um, some, sometime in my life, five years of my life, I was unemployed. I was home. I would wake up take the kids to school, come back and just be home because I didn't have a job. And that period was a time that I used to mold my children into, into, into the, the, the children that they are now. See, anytime you see yourself that, okay, I don't think I'm enough. I, I, I'm not even doing the right thing. Is it even worth it? Everybody is going to work and I'm just home with the kids. See, you will never get this time back. So use it wisely. When you read the book of Timothy, 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 2 Timothy 1, 5, it says, When I call to remembrance the genuine faith that is in you, which first dwelt in your grandmother Lois and your mother Eunice, I am persuaded it is in you also. This is Paul's letter to Timothy. So it was a generational thing. So whatever training you are taking your children through, it's not just for you, but it is for their generation as well. They will grow up, carry on with the legacy that you have built in them, and it will go on and on and on. You go to work. These days, all the women, we are working. We have side hustle. You go to work. You come back from work. You check their homework. You make sure they've brushed their teeth. You sit down. You read the Bible with them. That is legacy. So don't downplay whatever you are doing for your family. You are doing an amazing job. And if nobody is telling you this, I am telling you that you are doing well. It got to a point I felt like I was, I was not enough because I was not doing the things. I was not, 
experiencing what I felt motherhood should be. You know, you got you come on the ground, you see people have this bougie way of parenting and mothering, and then you think that okay, am I doing this thing right? My sister, you are doing well, oh. you are doing well, brother. You are doing an amazing job. As a father, you go to work. You come back, ensure that your family is well fed. You make time to play with your children. You, you, you discipline them. I mean, the Bible says that we should spare the rod and spoil the child. You ensure that they are walking on the right path. My dear, that is legacy. So this is to us modern parents. I know we have a lot of challenges, but today I want us to know that we are doing well. We are doing well. Whatever knowledge and nuggets we are passing on to our children, it is for a good cause. So let's keep going. Let's keep doing it. And God will continue to give us the strength and the resources to take care of our children. Our, our children will never bring us shame. They will never bring us shame. See, they will change their world. They will change their generations. Every labor of love we are putting in our children, it will pay off. You will see, it will pay off. Just keep going. And anytime you realize that you're overwhelmed in life, just come back to your source. Tell God that, God, I'm tired. Strengthen me. And he will. He will. So you're doing well. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Please share. Please subscribe to my page. And let's grow together. God bless you. Bye.